is Oman News Bulletin live from this news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. 717 candidates are in the final list of Shura Council members' candidates for the ninth term. A new oil exploration agreement is signed in the concession block 5 in Wadi Aswad in the Wilay of Ibri. Second phase of Young Qal Ibri dual carriageway is opened. Good evening. I'm Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rabi'i with the news team. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. The election committees in the Wilaya announces, Wilayas announces today the final list of candidates for the Shura Council members' election for the ninth term at the offices of their excellencies, the Walis. The final lists included 717 candidates with 41 female candidates from the different Wilayas of the Sultanate. According to Article 44 of the Shura Council Members' Elections Law, each candidate has the right to carry out election campaign to introduce himself or herself from the date of announcements of the final list for candidates until the day before the voting date. The Minister of Interior updated mechanisms for election campaigns request through their election website. The Sultanate signed a new oil agreement to produce oil and gas in the concession area Block 5 in Wadi Aswad in the Wilayah of Ibri in the Governorate of Al-Zahra in an area of 992 square kilometers. The agreement includes the drilling of three deep exploration wells for the first time in this area. The Minister of Oil and Gas signed the agreement with Mazun Petrogas Limited and Mazun Petrogas SIOC companies. These two companies come under the umbrella of Dalil Petroleum Company. As per the agreement terms, the Omani government's share will be 88% whilst 12% share goes to the partners. Dalil will be the operating company for the two companies in this area and it's worth, it's worth mentioning that Dalil Petroleum Company is the active company in the concession area Block 5 since 1991. The Sultanate produces around 55,000 barrels daily from Dalil Field in the Wilaya of Ibri. The agreement was signed by His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Hamid al Rumhi, Minister of Oil and Gas. The tender board in its meeting awarded a number of projects and additional works uh, completing or complementing developments projects in various fields uh, with a total cost of more than 19.7 million Omani rials. The projects are as follows. Importing equipment supplies uh, for the Ministry of Health, uh, renewing uh, the rent contract for the uh, premises of the public authority for small and medium enterprises development, providing uh, magnetic uh, res resonance uh, imaging uh, services for the patients referred from Nizwa Hospital to the health institutions in the private sectors in the Ministry of Health, providing catering services for students in Sultan Qaboos University, complementing additional works related to supervising services regarding land reclamation of Kamzar village in the governorate of Musandam. The meeting was headed by His Excellency Dr. Rashid bin Asafi al Hurebi, chairman of the tender board. The Ministry of Transport and Communications on, uh, has opened parts of Ibriyankal Dual Road, uh, the second phase, uh, the length of 17 kilometers. Within this uh, part, uh, more than 25 kilometers of the road have opened for traffic movement till now. The rest parts of the road uh, will be completed by the second quarter of next year. It will serve many villages in the governorate of al -Zahira. The road also will contribute to streamlining uh, the traffic movement and activate tourism and social contact among citizens of the governorate. His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Saud al Busaidi, Minister of Responsible for Defense Affairs, was briefed on the efforts and national roles being played by the units of the Naval uh, Baltina region during his visit to these units and uh, the premises of Said bin Sultan Naval Base. Uh, he toured the buildings and facilities of the base and Sultan Qaboos Naval Academy and a number of other naval units. He also got acquainted with their buildings, equipment and listened to a brief on its development plans. 
The Oman Hajj Mission handed uh, over tents uh, to Omani Hajj uh, companies after ensuring its full uh, preparedness uh, to receive pilgrims from the Sultanate of Oman. The Oman Hajj Mission held a meeting uh, with the Hajj Services companies uh, at its main office to discuss issues and instructions to better service uh, the pilgrims during the Hajj season. The Omani Hajj tents cover 12,000 square meters and include many improvements uh, and enhancements compared to previous years. The Oman Hajj Mission owner based performing companies in the last year in order to promote for better services to Omani pilgrims. The Omani government places great attention and care to services provided to pilgrims from Oman during Hajj. You're watching the Sultanate of Oman television and later to come in our news bulletin. The activities of Al Khabura Charitable Forum kicked off. Welcome back uh, to the news from the South and of Oman Television. The admission center announced the results of the first sorting of for the academic year 2019-2020. It's expected that around 21,610 students from the first sorting uh, will be accepted as the students will be given the opportunity to approve the available uh, seats uh, to them, as well as uh, complete the procedures of registrations in the institutions in which they were accepted starting today until the 19th of August. Regarding the second sorting, the admission center will announce the vacant programs in higher education institutions on the 17th of September 2019. Meanwhile, the results of the second sorting will be announced on 26th of September. The Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in cooperation with the Directorate General of Education in the Governorate of Buremi, honored uh, general diploma students acquiring 90% uh, and above in their educational achievements uh, for the academic year 2018-2019. The ceremony included the announcements of various social initiatives as the Buremi University announced of providing 11 free seats for the next academic year in addition to its commitment to supporting the students from social securities families through reducing the fees of studying. Within the Salala Touristic Festival Activities 2019, the fifth Arab Forum for Entrepreneurship was opened today in Salala under the title Investments and Renewable Energy. The three-day forum is organized by the Public Authority for Small and Medium Enterprises, Riyadh, in cooperation with Modin Talent Company for Invest or Events and events and conferences. It's accompanied by a number of events, including a specialized technical exhibitions showcasing the creativity of the youths. The opening ceremony of the forum was held under the auspices of His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Omar al Marhun, Minister of Civil Service. In the spirit of encouraging Social Security's families to establish successful economic projects, the second Al Khabur, a charitable forum, was launched. The forum aims to shed light uh, on means and methods to support Social Security's families through making them able to generate a steady income. The forum included the exhibition of handicrafts and homemade products as well as traditional food and sweets. The forum witnessed the establishment of Social Development Fund which will be dedicated to support people under Social Security benefits in the Wilaya. The forum was complemented uh, with a colorful display of traditional dances, music and arts.
And now for the general weather forecast around the south. On a clear skies will prevail over the most of the governorates uh, within ch with chances of intermittent uh, drizzle over the governorate of uh, the far. Winds will be south to southwesterly light to moderate. Seas will be slight to moderate with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. This is the South Tunnel to Forman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. 717 candidates are in the final list of Shura Council members' candidates for the ninth term. A new oil exploration agreement is signed in the concession block 5 in Wadi Aswad in the Wilayah of February. The second phase of Yonkal Library dual carriageway is opened. And with that, we do conclude this news bulletin brought to you live from this new center of the Sultanate of Oman Television. Thank you for joining us and good night.